You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? What is up everyone, welcome to another video and starting off this video, it is a Friday morning, the 11th of May. Um, our first league game is tomorrow, so we're testing our body fat, we're testing our body weight, we're also testing our fat mass and we're also testing our fat free mass, okay? This is called the Tanita scale. It's not the most accurate in terms of body fat percentage, but as long as I measure myself on this scale every single Friday morning, I should see my body fat rating come down. I'm not really too worried about the number, I'm more worried about what direction it's going in. So I started this three weeks ago and I've been doing it ever since. And right now, the Tanita scale is saying that my body fat is like 21, 22%. I know it's a lot lower than that, but I don't really care about the number. I care about the direction that this is giving me, if that makes sense. So the only true way you could actually test your body fat percentage is if you died and we dug you up and we weighed out all your fat. So that's the main, most accurate way of doing that. We're obviously not gonna do that. There's also DEXA scan. DEXA scan is pretty accurate, but they might cost anywhere between $1,000 to $5,000. So we're gonna test this. And then I also do a graph on my laptop so I, you can see how low my body fat drops leading up into the end of the league, start of the championship. So let's get this one done and then I'll show you the piece of paper um, of what it, what it gives me. Okay, so you might not be able to see this, but I'm gonna read out the four numbers that I care about. Number one, what weight am I right now? I'm 164.4 pounds. My body fat percentage is 19. Now, I do know that it's lower than that, but this is the first time that this scale has given me under 20%, so that's good. Um, my fat mass is 31 pounds. What does fat mass mean? So if I weigh 164 pounds, 31 pounds of that is fat. And that's good to know because you basically want to be as heavy as you possibly can with as little fat mass as possible. So if I can drop that fat mass down to let's say 25 or less, maybe 20, 18, but still stay around 150, 160 pounds and that's really good because I'm still holding a lot of muscle obviously because I'm still heavyish, but I have no, no fat, right? So, and then the last one is fat mass, which is 133 pounds, which is basically, you know, your muscle mass, water, organs, basically everything else. So your fat free mass is 133, your fat mass is 31, so, which equals up to my total body weight of 164. So that's really good to know, my body fat's down. And yeah, I do this every single Friday morning. Um, no food in me whatsoever, it's 7.30 a.m. in the morning. So I, I'm gonna just carry on my day. And I have a birthday dinner to go to at 2 p.m. I'm gonna try my best to fast basically all day until I go to that dinner. Hopefully, 
Um, but I would like to know throughout the day why I eat and how do I try to counteract going to a birthday dinner and um, why instead of trying to drop this body fat uh, on a weekly basis. First league game is tomorrow, really excited. We trained last night, feeling really good, feeling really confident, feeling good at where I am at the moment. I feel a lot stronger. Um, I also think I tug out a lot stronger as well. And I feel a lot more um, sharper in terms of agility and speed. So, touch it later on. I'm going to finish off my day and I'll pick up the camera when I, when I think um, is a good time. So it's been a crazy hectic day. I didn't pick up the camera whatsoever for the whole day because I was super busy and I didn't want to be putting a camera around the gym. So I said I'll talk to you guys at the end of the day. The last time I talked to you in camera was me doing my body fat stats and whatnot. But I have had tons of clients today. I am currently a personal trainer in Good Life Fitness. Most of you guys will probably know that from Instagram. But if you're new to this channel, then I do work as a personal trainer. I currently have anywhere in the region of 15 to 20 clients at a time. And I take them on for one year. So that's one-to-one -one coaching. That's completely different uh, to the coaching that I do online. So I want to show you actually first of all an amazing transformation that a guy that I've been working for for the last eight months and I'm not too sure if he'll see this video but I just wanted to show you guys what is achievable and how you can achieve your goals. This guy is Irish, I'm not going to say his name but I will put his photo up on the screen now and I also have him on my phone here. I think the photo on the left hand side is in around 260, 270 pounds and the photo on the right is him achieving his goals at around 200 pounds which is a weight loss of about 80 pounds. That is life changing and that is so amazing to take him through that journey and witness the change. He looks absolutely fantastic in the wedding photo um, and his goal is not over yet so he's still working hard as well. Uh, to keep pushing himself and keep trying to smash new goals along the way. So I wanted to share that transformation because I'm pretty proud of him and it's been great to be by his side for all those months. So what have I done today? I told you I had a birthday uh, for my good friend Ahmed. Um, so we went to a vegan restaurant and got a very, very basic burger and chip. I knew that it's probably not gonna throw me off for tomorrow's game um, because I'm gonna burn it all off tomorrow anyway. I'm feeling really, really good about myself going into the game, so I knew that the burger and chip was not really gonna have a huge effect on my body. But what I did minimize is my carbohydrate intake throughout the whole rest of the day. So I just went for my two chicken fillets and a side of vegetables. And that's all I've had today. Two chicken fillets, a side of vegetables, a burger and chip, you know? And the burger chip obviously isn't ideal. If it was championship, I wouldn't be doing that. But since I'm feeling pretty good going into the league, um, that's what I've done. And I'm not gonna bullshit you guys because I like to try and keep this as honest as possible. And will I eat tonight? No, I won't eat. But I will make sure to maybe get another, pro just a protein shake in me. Um, I always like to try and hit my protein goal or as close as I can every single day and my goal at the minute is like 160 grams and I don't think I got that today so another shake uh, will do the job. Also I went for some fascial therapy today. One of my friends, also co-workers, he's a coach here in Good Life Fitness, does fascial therapy. His name is Joe. I'll actually put his Instagram handle here as well. I put it up my Instagram. And what he basically does is stretch out everything for me. Um, it's called like passive stretching, should you say. And if you can imagine fascia tissue being all the connective tissue to your like ligaments and your muscles and basically like a web going through your body and what he done was done some passive stretching and stretched out my whole body. I am not qualified to do fascial therapy so I don't know the whole ins and outs of it but that basically it fucking felt good to be honest. 
and hopefully I'll feel good tomorrow during the game after doing the fascial therapy today. I didn't do any fascial therapy last year for the championship at all. I didn't actually do much physio work because the physio we have within the club only sees before the games and we don't meet him during the week. And I think this summer I'm going to invest in my body and pay for fascial therapy because I think there are some benefits from it. So the, end, the day is coming to an end. I'm gonna leave the gym now. I'm gonna go home. I'm not gonna end the video because I'm gonna do a full vlog over the full weekend. I'm gonna show you his footage of the game tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you what I eat before the game and maybe show you what I do after the game and then maybe my recovery on Sunday and a bit of Monday and then upload the video for today, which I hope is Tuesday. Also, by the time you watch this video, the video of Brian Keane would have been up, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. So I will see you tomorrow, guys, and um, hope to be feeling good. I will be talking to you guys about HRV readings, which is your heart rate uh, variability, and I'm learning more about it every single day, every single morning when I take the readings. I've asked me lots of times on Instagram stories what it is, so I think tomorrow morning I can do the reading and show you a good reading I hope and then uh, explain it to you a little bit better. So catches tomorrow morning. I am finishing up today. That is exactly what I could up to today to be honest. Also one more thing, Carpe Omnia clothing jeans company from Ireland sent me out these beautiful jeans. Honestly they're absolutely amazing. They are black. I'm not too sure if you can see them. Black ripped jeans. They are so, so comfy and they're pretty slick as well. It's so hard to get skinny stretch jeans out here in Toronto. They are so comfy. Um, I will put a picture up on Instagram now for them. And before someone walks in and sees me talking in front of the camera at 8pm at night, I'm gonna say goodbye. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Right, so it's the next morning and I actually haven't had time to pick up the camera because I had a couple of clients and I just raced back and now it is roughly around just over two hours to throw in. So what I'm going to try to do here is just cook up a really, really small bowl of pasta. Not too much because the most important time to carb load is the day before and I've done that yesterday. And then I always want a good digestive protein with it so I'm just going to go for some organic beef. But it's my first time trying out these this summer. Okay, if you want to zoom in there, they're called... So they're called basically digestive enzymes, okay? So I'm going to take about five of these mid-meal and I'm going to see how my body feels during the game and hopefully I should feel um, that I digested all the food a lot better. So that's going to be my pre-match meal. I usually vary it up, but it always has some sort of carbohydrate, mainly browns or brown rice, brown pasta. I always try to not spike my insulin before games, and then after uh, games, I focus then on maybe getting a good fruit source to spike my insulin back up. But do not spike your insulin before you go in to the match. So brown pasta, a little bit of beef. I'm not even going to eat all this. It's actually too much, there's about half a kilo. So I can actually have that later on tonight or tomorrow or whatnot as well. So catch me is later on. This is all brand new, basically me picking up the camera. So I will hopefully chat you how the game went, get some clips as well. Feeling pretty good. Also drinking some vitamin C. Um, I like to throw dissolved tablets in there as well. I take that every morning, so that's no different in terms of the match. So I'll catch on me is later on, okay? Okay, so let me actually try and explain to you exactly why I'm taking digestive enzymes and how I tested my body to see if I needed them. So there's something called the HCL test and essentially a lot of us have low stomach acid levels which means that we don't digest our food properly, okay? Now I only heard about this in the last six months because I'm trying to grow my knowledge in terms of digestive enzymes and trying to talk about different nutrition styles and different protocols and whatnot. So I first learned about the digestive enzymes from a coach that is actually in Good Life and he takes his body very, very serious and he's been taking these for a long time. And he always suggests any of his clients or anybody to always try and test out their low stomach acid levels. So what you do is you cook up some meats and you can mix it with whatever, okay? But 
The idea is to eat half your meal and then take one pill and then finish up eating the rest of the meal. So essentially, until you feel a burning sensation in your stomach, then you know that you've reached your limit of pills. So I'm gonna take five of these pills and this is gonna be the perfect amount for my body to digest the food properly. And this is when I know that it's gonna absorb all the nutrients. I'm gonna get the best benefit out of the meal itself. So if you ever wanna try this, just get yourself some digestive enzymes. I think the main ingredient or the main thing to look for here is beta 9. Beta I can't say it, but I'll put it on the screen. And that is the number one ingredient that you want to try and look for. And my pills are 400 milligrams each. So right now I'm taking five, which is what, 200 milligrams, which is a lot. So it was pretty obvious that my stomach acid levels were extremely low to zero. So you might not be the case, or you might actually need more pills than that. So give it a go, test it out. I'm taking five of these, and then my body's gonna digest the food properly. Get a score on the net now. They need, to get, they need a three point. Here we go.